Hi, my name is Kenneth White, and welcome to another animal encounter here at Fontenelle Forest. Today I have a raptor with me. Uh, this is a Merlin, and her name is Tega. So Tega is actually a type of falcon. But if you guys remember last time, uh, we had a small kestrel here. Um, this is a relative to the kestrel, so she's a falcon. If you look under her eyes, she has those same malar stripes, those two dark lines underneath, and they serve the same function to help block the sunlight from out of her eyes when she's flying around hunting. Um, as you can tell, she's a little bit larger and she's also heavier than a kestrel. So she's not quite as agile as a kestrel is, but she's very, very fast and a powerful flyer. So when she's hunting, she'll sit high up in a treetop and she'll scan the horizon for any type of flying prey item for her. And then she'll just fly really fast and really quickly to go take that down. Another cool way that they'll hunt is um, sometimes they'll pair up and one bird will go low and kind of flush the other um, birds or prey items out of the grass or shrubbery, whatever's going on around there. And then another bird will go high and that'll be the bird that actually takes down whatever they're gonna eat for the day. And if you do look at her beak, she's got a little specialized notch there and that helps her to take her prey down because she's gonna try to take it down with as least struggle as possible. So she's gonna use that notch and kind of bite right between the heads. So she gets a really quick takedown and she'll be able to eat um, quickly. Uh, another cool thing is way back in medieval times, these were birds used by royalty. So if you were a, a fancy queen or a princess, you would go out with one of these birds and go hunting for skylarks. That was a very popular activity kind of just to pass the time back in those days. And again, you had to be a, a queen or a princess or really high up in society to be able to use one of these birds to hunt. Um, one more cool thing I'll leave you guys with is if you look at her chest, you'll notice that she has um, kind of white speckles on her chest and that's to camouflage her in the sky. So if we're looking from the ground up to the sky, that white chest is gonna kind of blend her in to the grayish, bluish, white sky up there. And if you're a bird that's higher up, that's maybe a bit bigger, and you see this dark pattern, and you're looking down, that's gonna blend into the treetops and the dirt and everything down on the ground. So she has a two-way camouflage going on to help keep her safe. Uh, very last thing I'll leave you guys with is, um, they don't make their own nest, they're nest hijackers, so they'll find an old crow's nest or an old raptor's nest, and that's where they'll settle down and have their babies and hang out for a while until they're old enough to fly off. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Have a great one.